What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Matthew Maley, for MatthewMaley.com. Well, as you can tell, I'm back on the couch, but it's not Friday night. Not my normal spot on the couch. I switched it up, and it's not time for another weekly movie review, but I uh, I did want to do a quick video. Um, since one of my favorite shows came to an end um, this, this week, um, I actually just got done watching the uh, season finale, series finale, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it, it's been one of my favorite shows for the past multiple years and um, just want to do a quick video about it. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that there will be some spoilers in this. So if you have not watched this season or the season or the series finale or you know haven't even gotten into the show, definitely proceed with caution. And while technically there weren't a whole lot of spoilers anyway um, in the in the finale, you know if you've never watched the show, or if you haven't watched the finale, there are some things that I, I don't want to give away. But speaking of Rescue Me, which is a show on FX, um, it just finished its seventh season. And uh, like I said, the, the show is officially canceled. Or it's, it's ended now. It's not canceled. I'm sorry. It's officially ended. Um, it is the story of House 62 of the New York Fire Department um, as they cope with the aftermath of 9-11. Um, Many issues uh, such as extreme alcohol abuse, PTSD, depression, homosexuality, racism, even more racism, and really just pretty much every issue you could think of happening in New York in a fire department, this show tackled. Um, stars Dennis Leary. He was the creator, wrote a lot of it, I believe, produced it. Um, I'm going to be looking at IMDb. I'm saying it right now because there's some people whose names I just don't remember. Um, and I want to make sure I shout out everybody. Um, second favorite person on there was Franco, which was Daniel Sinjata. Um, then it also starred Callie Thorne, who's actually on uh, the USA show uh, Necessary Roughness. The show kind of sucks, but she's cool. Um, I believe her name is Andrea Roth, is, uh, who plays Janet Gavin, which was Tommy's wife. Stephen Pasquale, or Pasquale, was Sean Garrity. Uh, Michael Lombardi was the incredibly dumb Mike. Um, John Skurdy was Lou, who was awesome. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, James McCaffrey was Jimmy Keefe. He was always cool on it. Um, Lenny Clark. Lawrence Tate was Black Sean. I'm not being racist. That's how he was known on the show. Um, and Tatum O'Neill had a part on it. Really, it was it was a very well done show. And it broke into the dynamics of really day-to-day -day life for firefighters. And obviously, it was a TV show, so obviously it wasn't, you know, super true to life. But I have a couple of friends who are firefighters in Watson, so there were a lot of things in terms of the constant ball busting and the constant camaraderie like that that were very true. But um, overall, the show was, was a great show. Um, we'll get into where it ranks all time for me and how I feel this past season I actually kind of took away from it. But um, in its height, probably I believe the end of the third, or maybe it was the fourth season, there's a, a scene with Tommy's son, um, and it is truly one of the most powerful scenes I've ever watched um, in any kind of film, TV, or movie. Um, it, I still remember it incredibly, incredibly vividly. And um, there were some truly... Epic, and I hate to use the term epic because it's so corny now. Everybody uses epic, but there were some truly epic parts in that in this series that were were groundbreaking in a way, and it touched on so many issues of constant day to day New York life, sobriety, the 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 constant struggle of marriage, of family, of having an affair, having uh, just so much, and I really really liked the show overall. Um, it, it really did cover so many aspects that were, were unlike any other show, to be quite honest. But more, more specifically, going towards the final season, I really was underwhelmed with this past season. Um, I'll review the season as a whole, and then we'll get to the finale as well. But I, um, I loved this show for... You know, the first five seasons were some of the most edgy, well-written, sharp, just to the point type of show, or type of TV, on TV. And sadly, over the last few seasons, it started to taper off a little bit. And then in my opinion, this past season was by far the weakest. Um, 
they they went away from a lot of the core elements. One thing that I loved earlier in the season or earlier in the earlier seasons is he had constant contact with his dead uncle or with his dead cousin or with Jesus at one point. Jesus is driving a Lamborghini Gallardo at one point and it's hilarious. It doesn't make sense just me saying it. When you see it in context, it works so well. You see the ghost of other of his of his brother who died. You see the ghost of firefighters that died. I mean and, and I like that aspect of it because it it added, you know, a level of Tommy's pretty crazy. And I know that part of the reason why they did stray away from stray away from that in the, this last season is the fact that Tommy's been sober. And one of the things that they kind of tied in was often when he would see his ghosts and his visions, it would be when he was very drunk. So I know that that's part of the reason why they had to stray stray away from it. But I really did think it took away a lot a lot from the show personally. I thought that was a really cool element to the show. And it was nice seeing him interact with Jimmy. You know, and it was nice seeing just those aspects. Um, so this last season, I really just felt like it lost its edge. I felt like it was the shell of the show, but it lost its teeth. And I understand it's tough to keep a show perfectly edgy for that many seasons, for that long. I get that. Especially probably got to be difficult filming a show when you know it's coming to an end. It's probably tough to, you know, it, it, I guess it's like if you're on a last place basketball team, you know you're not going to make the playoffs. You probably start mailing in a little bit at the end. But I, I really was a little bit disappointed because I felt that they could have done so much more with the season, and I felt like they really just tried to do too much, um, which is funny. I, it, I guess it doesn't make sense by me saying that, but I feel like they could have done so much better and instead, they just tried to do too much. And they jumped at, oh, we got to get Colleen married. And we got to have Janet pop out another kid. And we got to have uh, Garrity getting serious about some stinky chick. What was the point of that? Seriously, anybody who's seen the show, can you comment what the hell was the point of that? Just to see him wearing a gas mask after sex? Really? Like, what was the point of adding that? It was pointless, completely. And I just, I, I really... I thought there was going to be a much more epic conclusion. I thought that the last season would be much better, just better done. And in my opinion, it really wasn't. Again, my opinion, but I really thought that the last season was lacking a lot. And that kind of leads me into the finale. Now, like I said, I thought the first season really, I mean, I'm sorry, I thought that the first few episodes really were weak. It became a show, in the beginning, it was just like The Shield or Lost. I did not DVR it. I did not miss that show. I rearranged my schedule to watch it. And this last season, there were weeks I didn't even watch the episode. I waited until the next one was coming on and watched them back to back. And that sucks because it was a show that meant so much to me, you know, for that long. And to see it taper off like that really was disappointing. And I think that was especially evident in the, in the series finale. Not the season finale, the series finale. When... The build-up to it was actually pretty solid. Granted, it was a little hit or miss. The episode of Colleen getting married was... I thought it was corny as hell. And then having Janet and Tommy renew their vows. Everything just seemed forced. Everything this entire season seemed pushed, seemed forced, seemed rushed. Seemed. Why is it that, that Janet and Sheila are becoming best friends? Why is it that all the women are having some estrogen party and banning against Tommy? Those things just didn't make sense. It was like they did it just to do it rather than having an actual purpose to progress the story. It was almost like they knew that the story arced a couple seasons ago. So they were like, eh, just put some filler in there. Which, why? Why put out a product if you're not going to do it that well? You don't see Lamborghini coming out with a $12,000, you know, Geo Metro equivalent. No, they have a great product. They produce that great product. If they're going to produce a great product, they're going to put one out. My two cents. I'm sorry. Again, my 30 cents. I talk a lot. So, the, the episode with the wedding I thought was corny. But how the episode, the second to last episode ended, I thought was very impressive. They finally got back to firefighting, which seemed to fall off a lot in this season, too. Seemed like in the last seasons, you know, you actually had them fighting fires. This one, it seemed like, I think they, they fought three fires the entire season. And it, for those who, you know, need a refresher, they, the second to last episode ends with them trapped in a stairwell, essentially. And there's no way out. And the whole team's there. 
Sean, Black Sean, Garrity, Mike, Lou, um, and Tommy are all trapped. And they come up to a brick wall and they cannot get out. And the show, that, that episode ends with Lou telling Tommy to go and that they would be fine. And then it pans out and you see a huge explosion. So that leaves you with the whole, oh my God, you know, what might happen? Does this mean, you know, it's over, everybody's dead? And then, of course, to start off the last episode, they use the oldest trick in the Rescue Me book, and really in all of FX shows, they do the dream sequence. That's right. Because how else can we trick our viewers into thinking that everybody's dead, or pretty much everybody's dead, unless we do that? Which I thought was kind of a cheap tactic, especially because as soon as it started, I automatically thought, oh, great, here's a dream sequence. And it turned out I was right. Which I did think took a little bit away from having a series finale. Series finale should be the best episode of that season, if not one of the best episodes of the show ever. So, I just thought that it came weak for a series finale. I thought that it just was so blah and just, just basic. It was a good episode. It would have been a good episode any other time during the entire season. But to have it as a series finale, it was just much too serious. It was much too happy-go-lucky. They just lost, again, spoiler alert, turn it off here if you haven't watched it, lose dead. Like, their boy, their number one dude, Tommy's best friend, and soon to be um, a godfather to his new baby, is dead. In a very gruesome face burning. And... It's a happy-go-lucky time. Like, I just, I really was underwhelmed with that. I mean, it was funny. Don't get me wrong. Like, the fact they have a run-through a mishap where the ashes get spilled. They're going to take his ashes to dispense them into the ocean and whatever. And the long story short, the ashes go over all over everybody. And that then causes some very fun time of trying to collect the ashes including them from Garrity's ass. That doesn't work, so they go and get Duncan Hines' cake mix to you replace that. More hilarity ensues, and it just... It, why? Why was it that funny for a series finale? It should have been serious. We should have been tying up loose ends. You want to see how to do a series finale? Watch The Wire. Last episode of The Wire ever. That's how you do a series finale, in my opinion. Even Lost. Lost had a great series finale. Like, that's how you should do it. And this one just didn't have it. I literally felt like I was just watching any random episode. Not the end. I will say I did like how they ended the very end of it. It ends with a new class of fire recruits um, and all of the guys back together. After they've been talking about transferring, retiring, all that. With all the guys back together. And you now see that Franco is a lieutenant as he's been having a power struggle with all season. And Tommy gives this really cool speech. And then as Franco comes in and starts talking, Tommy gets into his truck to drive away and Lou's in there. And so it was cool that you got to go back to that ghost element a little bit for that last minute, but it's literally the closing scene. They say two words to each other and it ends. So I did like that. Plus they had the wall of all the names of all the dead firefighters. And I liked that they, that they brought that back into it with 9-11, you know, literally two days afterwards or four days afterwards, sorry. So I liked how they did that. It, literally, I liked the last five minutes of it and I hated the other hour and 15 minutes. I didn't hate it. Okay, I didn't hate it. That's unfair. It just wasn't good enough, in my opinion. It could have been so much better. So, I don't know. I definitely was underwhelmed with that. And in my opinion, it takes it from being what could have been in my top five favorite shows of all time and drops it down to probably my top 12 to 15. And that's sad because it had the potential to be there through five seasons. But I really think it just took the FX curse, where it just went a little bit too long. You know, where, well, I don't even know, I call it the FX curse, you call it plenty of other things with, you know, how they, they milk these series as much as they can. But The Shield, The Shield's last, series, the last season was pretty good, but it had a lull there for a couple seasons where it really was just that. Eh. Nip Tuck, I didn't even watch the last two seasons of it. It, it jumped the shark so hardcore, and the next thing you know, it, it's just pathetic. 
because it went on too long. And that was one of my top 10 favorite shows, just because of how much it pushed the envelope and how good the writing was. I couldn't even watch it in the end. It was so mailed in. And now you get this, all FX shows. Even Always Sunny, last season Always Sunny was kind of crappy. And again, it peaked way before that. I'm still holding out hope that this next season is really good. We'll see. I might not add that one to the list. We'll see. But it's just, it was sad to see that a show that was that good ended up being hurt based on the last season especially and the last couple seasons. That just seemed so forced and had no teeth. So that's my opinion of it. I still really did love Rescue Me. It was a great show. Shout out to, to Dennis, Dennis Leary for that and all the entire cast. Shout out to the, to the FDNY as well. Um, we appreciate you. I know I personally in New York appreciate you, but all firefighters around the world. Just based off of watching this show, which I know it's Hollywood, but y'all do not make enough money. Take money away from the damn basketball players and give it to y'all. Seriously, y'all are cops. It's ridiculous, man. You guys are making shit compared to what you should be making. So, much respect for that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys fans of Rescue Me? Did you like the last season? Did you like the series finale? Um, of course, put a little spoiler alert in there. I don't want you know people to read the comments and have something spoiler alerted for them. Um, or send me a message directly or post a video response. Haven't gotten any of those yet. Let's boost this channel up, get some video responses. So let me know what you guys think. Um, overall, like I said, I still really did like the show. It just did definitely hurt the overall ranking for me. And I thought they bit off more than they could chew for the final season. And the series finale was just way too... Eh. It was a good episode. But you can't have a three-star episode to close out one of what should have been a five-star show. There you go. That's what I'm landing it with. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like Dennis Leary? Do you like the show? You guys firefighters? If so, much respect. And now let me know what you guys think. If you guys love it, hate it. If you like other shows, put me on to some new shows. Some of my shows are ending. Got to get on some new shows. So put me on to that. But uh, once again, thanks again for checking out my video. I know it got pretty long-winded there, so thanks for sticking with me, and I appreciate it. And, of course, check out the rest of my videos. Uh, anything on YouTube, I would love it if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe. Watch it ten times. You know, get my views up a little bit. Um, you know, I really do appreciate that. I really, honestly, really do appreciate all you guys checking out my videos. That's why I do it. You know, I think it's fun, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. So, much love for that, and uh, thank you again. Of course, follow me on Twitter, at Matthew Maley. Hop up on Facebook and like my uh, Matthew Maley poker page. And of course, MatthewMaley.com. Finally getting it back up and running. So thanks again for checking it out. And uh, until my next video, peace out, y'all.